I was awakened from my rest by a scream, and awoke to see the ghost of an ancient warrior wandering the tavern. After speaking with him, I promised to find and return his long-lost blade, so he may finally rest. But I must be wary, for the Forsworn have proven to be dangerous foes. I must prepare if I hope to survive long in these craggy and treacherous hills of the Reach. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Wildlander. We're here with Jonies the Pious, we're back in Markarth at the Silverblood Inn here. Um, at the end of the last episode, we uh, did a quest for, or we got a quest from this um, this old ghost, um, and uh, we we decided to come back to Markarth and just work on our skills and trading a little bit off screen. We got our follower Olgus the Lucky here, all duck decked out, as you can see, with uh, orcish equipment. So let's take a look I'm at here him. To help. And uh, let's to take, take a look at what he has. He's got his Orcish War Axe, uh, Amulet of RK, and a full set of Orcish gear. Now, uh, one thing I didn't realize is he does not have the perk points to really effectively move in this heavy armor. Um, so he might be a little bit slower than usual, but I'm sure we can work on that. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see. We got. I think we got a level up or two off a of screen. We got um, dual casting and restoration, which is nice. Um, and we're just gonna keep working on our magic skills. Um, now let's take a look what we're doing for this episode. So we got a couple of missives that we're gonna take care of, and I think we're gonna start out by delivering this bow to Pavo over at Kolskegger Mine. We'll do that first. Then we'll come down here, and we'll actually one of our missives is to deliver a letter to the ghost of old Rolden, so somebody wants to deliver a letter to this ghost, apparently, but uh, we'll just take care of that on our way back there. Then, um, we gotta deliver this potion by today for Bethella, so we gotta do that. And then we'll probably just continue on and go to Red Eagle Redoubt, find the sword for the ghost, bring it back, and I, I think we'll call it there. I'm not sure, we'll see how long it takes to do everything. Um, we got a few more quests over here, but um, I think we're just gonna do this uh, to start for now. Um, so why don't we just head out these doors and let's get going. It's uh, 6.28 in the morning. We're just gonna go outside. And um, yeah, why don't we just get going. Um, we've got a couple of these missives and we'll just get a little bit of gold for those. Um, but definitely by the time we get to that Forsworn camp, we're gonna wanna make sure we're fully prepared and um, we're ready to take that on. Because that's going to be a little bit difficult, getting getting through all of those Forsworn, but I think we're, we're looking stronger now than, than last episode. And I'm going to definitely, because we're in the early game of Wildlander here, I think I'm going to um, do a little bit of leveling up off screen with stuff like spell research for example which is a really good way to just rapidly increase your magic skills and level up um, but it's not very exciting to watch that so um, we might do some of those things off screen but it's okay because if it means that we have a better chance of surviving with Jonius then then that's a, that that's a plus in my book <clears throat> Now, um, you know, I'm thinking about that ghost that we're doing this quest for, and, uh, you know, ghosts and undead are seen as a violation of the law of life and death that R.K., the Divine, has set in, in motion. And, um, you know, Jonius being a pious and faithful man of the Divines, you know, he doesn't see undead as, uh, you know, he's, he, he understands, though, that they have to be dealt with in in a peaceful way, and he thinks that something about this ghost is a little bit different than the other ones he's encountered before. Um, it's actually closely connected to Tiber Septim himself. But let's talk about that more later. Here we are at Pavo's house. It's uh, too early, so let's knock on the door. 
is someone there? Um, Gat, it's Jonius. May I come in? Of course. Alright. And, uh, why don't we just deliver this bow to our old friend, the miner, Pavo. Okay. Alright, it looks like he's in the downstairs area here, still still sleeping. Huh? Pavo, I have a weapon for you from Mothgro Bagel of Makoth. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Alright, very cool. And uh, we get 100 gold there, very nice. Now let's get going back on the road. And yeah, like I was saying, this um, this ghost of old uh, in old Rolden, he definitely can tell that there's something different about this ghost because it addressed him as Hjalti. And what was Hjalti? It was actually the name, one of the names of Tiber Septim himself, um, the founder of the Empire. So if he can bring peace to this ghost, you know, then that feels like he's doing a great service to. Um, to the Empire and to to this restless spirit. Um, so yeah, let's uh, keep our wits about us as we carry on here. And um, why don't we go ahead and we can just... We can actually dual cast these now. Very nice. And we should... Uh, yeah, you can see that Olgus is like sort of lagging behind. That's because he doesn't have the perks and heavy armor, so he's like pretty slow. So even though he's sprinting, he's like very slowed down. Let me cast a healing aura on you. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Alright, let's keep going along the road. And, um... Let's just be careful here. At least it's, uh... Not too far to get to old Holden. But you never know what you can come across. Um... So yeah, we're going to try to find the sword, bring peace to this uh, restless spirit. And, um... Actually, hold on. Let's take a look here. Because it looks like there's this big island in the middle of this river. And uh, I think, um... Why don't we just take a little detour? I want to I wanna explore around over here a little bit. Um... Yeah, just a goat there. Let's get some ingredients and stuff, and let's, uh, why don't we just swim around a little bit. There's some salmon and fish in here. And, uh, yeah, we should also keep an eye on how cold the water is, because this can increase our exposure. But what's this? It looks like there's a chest here. Mead barrel. Um, somebody's Nord mead got lost here. Looks like there's a little boat here. Um... I'm not sure if we can bash open the lock on that. Can I reach that? No, it doesn't seem like I can swing to reach it. Yeah, I can't bash the lock off. But what's in here? It looks like there's a boat. Why don't we uh, take a look? Alright, there's some wine bottles, some oars. It looks like there's some gems here, though. So why don't we go ahead and take these? Very nice. Um, glass bottles we can definitely use, uh, to make bottled water, and then we can mix those into soups. Um, and that's also another thing we got that I should take, take a look at now. We made some, some, uh, stews and soups and foods here. And I think we're gonna pop one of those apple cabbage stews. That'll give us some stamina regen. Alright, looks like there's, there's a lockbox here, so let's take a look at that. Let's just pop that open. There we go. Very nice. And we got some more gems and jewelry and gold. Very cool. Um, looks like there's an apothecary satchel here. We need those ingredients. Alright, that seems to be everything for now, pretty much. Um, I don't know about this apprentice chest. Um, yeah, I don't think we can... Uh, yeah, we, we don't know how to pick locks, so... Let's, um, yeah, we're gonna get the knock spell for that, for sure. But, alright, looks like this goat is just swimming. Why don't we, um... Alright, I think... I don't know if this, um... Yeah, if, if we should keep going around here. Let's get those dragonflies. Or not, okay. Um... 
Yeah, let's see here. Because if we stay in here for too long, we might get cold. Oh, there's some spade fish. See, they always appear at the bottom of waterfalls. Alright, I'm gonna actually head back towards the path. And, uh, we'll just carry on when we get back to Old Rolden. Alright, we're going along the road. Some Thalmor are walking along, um, over here. But I think we're gonna just keep a distance from them. Um, another thing that I just remembered was we actually failed a missive, and I think we actually got... Yeah, we actually got a bounty for that. So this will actually happen. I think this happens if you fail a missive, you'll get a bounty for that. And I think the one that I failed was, like, delivering something to Raven Rock or something crazy like that, so... Yeah, we gotta clear that up with the guards, but, um, we'll just take care of that when we get to it. Um... Yeah, you gotta be careful when you take those missives, because if you just take them all, you can get slapped with those bounties if you don't do them. So just be careful with that. Alright, here we are back at the old Holden Inn. The ghost is just sitting here, chilling. He's like, huh? I have a letter for you from Hathrasil of Markarth. And he thanks us and gives us some gold. Very cool. Alright, I'll be back with your sword soon. Don't go anywhere. Alright, we gotta go get this guy's sword now. So let's take a look. Um, I think there's only one more thing. Yeah, we gotta deliver a potion over to someone over here. And then we're gonna press on to Red Eagle Redoubt, and then we're gonna see if we can complete this quest there. Um, Alright, here we are. We gotta talk to this gentleman here. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. Uh, the mine isn't safe? Why? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. Hmm. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Um, well, I guess I could handle those Draugr for you. You're joking, right? Those bow walkers All right. will tell you from limb. But if you want to get yourself killed, go ahead. Alright, um, we gotta talk to him again. Huh? I have a potion for you from Bethella. You. Here, this is for you. Okay, cool. Very nice. We're gonna need an army to clear out that crypt. An army, huh? Well, we got me and Olgus here. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do this right now. Um, I don't wanna just, like, take a swing and accidentally take out Olgus before we get to the Force Warden camp, so... Why don't we just skip that for now, but we could definitely come back to that later. We can uh, just get that selected, and we can maybe go back to that later. Um, definitely would help to bring some spells like Sunfire for that, um, to help deal with those Draugr. But let's just keep going. I think we gotta keep going along this way. And there's a big Forsworn camp down there, so let's try to avoid that. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Hopefully we can... Um, just kind of go, oh yeah, there's a hag raven down there. That's like the very last thing we want to encounter. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, just stay away from them. Alright, so here we are. We're about to take on the Forsworn, the forsworn the Citadel here. And, dangerous. and as careful. Olgus is saying, he's warning us to be careful because we gotta get in here to get Hjalti's sword. Um, so why don't we just get prepared here. We're going to go ahead and cast a healing aura on ourselves first. And then we're definitely going to get one on our follower here as well. Let's see, can we, uh... Yeah, we're going to have to uh, dual cast this to get the maximal effect. Of course. Alright, very good. Now let's see, what else do we have? We've got these scrolls of oak flesh, so I think um, casting one of these would be a good idea. Let's save that until... We've casted everything else. I think we just gotta do Blur. Yeah, let's just wait until we get enough Magicka to cast Blur. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and, um, I think we should probably... Let's go ahead and favorite the Oak Flesh Scroll until we can cast Mage Armor ourselves better. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's get going here. And let's see, are there any potions that we should take? 
I think fortify, fortify armor rating is going to be useful. And I think that's it. I think that's all, all I'm going to do for now. Um, let's just get going here. And uh, we've already been spotted, and they got some archers up there, so let's get moving. At least we got our blur up here. Okay, they are shooting. Okay, we broke his bow. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go, let's go. Alright, there we go. Okay. Um, Alright, just two for now. Let's see, did you have anything? I actually had some glass arrows, interesting enough. We should probably get a bow for our follower so he can get some range capability of his own. Um, where is Olgus? Yeah, he's... He should, he should be coming. He'll, he'll be coming. Alright, let's just keep going here and keep our wits about us. Um, and I think speed is going to be on our side as we try to close the distance with them. Alright, here they are. Okay, there we go. Sidestep. Okay, it seems that we can three-shot them pretty much, which is good. Alright, let's see here. Oh, whoa, okay. There we go. Oh man, he's trying to throw hands. Alright, well we got... Th was that three of them there? Okay. A little batch of three. Let's see, where are the other dead bodies? They fell down here, okay. Um, you had nothing good. You didn't really have much. Alright, well, um... Okay, we just need to make sure that... Okay, we're, we're getting spotted. Okay, there you are. Bonk. There we go. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see here. Um, yeah, they don't seem to have that much good stuff, like Orcish Dagger, whatever. I don't even care about an Orcish Dagger. Um, let's just, uh, looks like our final objective isn't too far away, it's right up there. Um, so, there shouldn't be too many more of these Forsworn left, but, let's see, they do have a... Okay, yeah, there's another one here. Okay. Alright, there's Olgus, finally he shows up. Ooh, she had fire salts, that's nice. Okay. Um... Alright, there's another encampment here. I can see at least one guy. Okay. Adept lock on that chest. Is someone there? Is someone there? Oh! oh hello there. You win. I submit. Okay, good. Good, Olgus. Good job. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. Whoa! You see that? Ogus just did like a freaking flip. Whoa, there he's look at look at him go! Why is he sneaking? You don't have to be sneaking. Ogus, why are you sneaking, my guy? Oh, let me see if I can get him to stand. You can stand now, Ogus. Alright, this guy's just running. Should we let Ogus finish him off? Come on, Ogus, do your thing. Do your thing, my guy. Do what I pay you for. He's just slowly creeping up to his prey like a predatory cat or something. This guy's just trying- Okay, there we go. Finish him, Olgus. Finish him. Come on, you missed? Hit him! There we go. Nice. Good job. Alright. We could give him a Forsworn bow. I think we're gonna wait for something a little better than that. Holy moly. Alright. Looks like we're panting. Yeah, we're panting up a storm now. Um, let's get our stamina back. Sometimes you just start panting a lot, and uh, I don't know what to do when that happens. But, um, I guess we're just gonna have to, uh, deal with it. Alright, uh, fix that weird panting glitch. Um, basically it seems that if that ever happens, you gotta go into an interior space. Um, so I was able to go down to the Red Eagle Ascent entrance and, uh, just go in and out and that fixed it. But, uh, looks like we've got to, uh, we gotta deal with a, uh, final... 
final stage here. Yeah, that's right, Olgus. Alright, let's get you healing more it up. Let's go see what's at the peak here. At the summit of this fortress. And we got a guy with a bow. Alright, easy. Break it quick. Alright, let's see. Looks like there's another guy up ahead. And, uh, alright. Looks like this guy is Gerard, level 30. He's stronger than the other ones, too. And it looks like his sword is actually, uh, made of steel. Okay, Olgus, don't get in the way. Alright, just let Olgus do his thing. Okay. Good job, Olgus. Good job. Alright. He finished the job for us. Good job, buddy. Alright, let's take a look. What did you have? Red Eagle's Fury. Now, this is actually a unique sword. And it has a enchantment on it. Um... But, this is actually a quest item that cannot be put down once we pick it up, so... I'm not sure if we'll take this right now or not. Um... But maybe we could come back for it later. Um... But yeah, I don't know. If we don't pick it up, I don't know if it'll despawn. Um, let's take this and give it to Olgus. I'm not sure why that bow didn't break when Olgus was hitting him. But, uh, for some reason it didn't. I don't know, should we take the sword? And should we, uh, do this? You know what? I think... Why not? Let's take it. It'll, it'll be a good challenge. And, um, let's take a... Yeah, so if we go here, it has, um... It doesn't allow us to drop it. So... I think that's gonna be in the near future of what we do. And uh, we gotta unlock the secret of Red Eagles too. I think we'll work towards that later, but let's take a look what's in the chest. Looks like it's locked with an adept lock. Um, but we still have a scroll of knock here, so let's go ahead and uh, pop that open. Alright. And let's see what we get. And there, sure enough, is Hyalti's sword. Um, imbued dragon bones? Sure. Um, let's see, let's take some of this valuable stuff. Uh, Staff of Chain Lightning. Wow, that that might actually start coming in handy. Um, so let's take that. Let's take some torches. Sure, why not? Um, I don't know what else to take here. We got a light bow for for Olgus already. Um, I think that's a good amount of loot there. Uh, let's see. Can I give you some stuff I'm now? Still here. Why don't we trade some things with you? What do you need to take? And I'm gonna give you. Uh, some arrows. Let me give you these nice arrows, too. And then you're gonna get a bow now. And that's just a starting bow, but at least he has it. What do you need Is there take? anything else I should give you? I feel like I should maybe give him... I don't know. Should we give him... I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything else to give him. We can carry the rest of this. Let's give him some torches. Yeah. Alright. We should keep moving. There you go. Okay. Hagraven feathers. Let's actually eat those. Um Damage Magica Frenzy. Interesting. Okay. Um should we eat the fire salts or sell them? I feel like we should just eat them. Yeah, let's eat the fire salts. Even though they're worth a lot of gold, it's worth more learning the effects. And uh more expensive ingredients will typically make more valuable potions. Um, alright, now let's see. We did get a key off of this guy. And let's see, we can go into this tower. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna find in here, but... Doesn't seem to be very much. Now there's some kind of a drawbridge or something. Looks like there's a chain here. Let's see, anything in here? Troll skull? Nah. Nothing really that good. Ooh, a ring. Very cool. Um... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much over here. But let's go check out what's in here. Looks like there is, in fact, a novice level lock on this chest. Let's uh, try bashing that. And sure enough, we can hit it right off. And we get some gems and a, let's see, an ancient Nordic light bow. Let's see, maybe, um... I'm still here. Actually, hold on. Let me on. know if you need anything. 
What can I do Let for me you? trade some things. Do I take? don't know if this is better than his uh, wooden bow. It probably doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks like he'll equip that now. Let me know if you need Very good. Anything. And um, why don't we check if, if there's anything else here? Uh, don't see much. Um, but as we come up to the top of this tower here, we got a very nice view of Skyrim, the plains and tundra of Whiterun spreading before us, and just the promise of this new land that we are in, you know? Jonius was uh, all around Tamriel during the war, but he's come back, and um, this is his first real time as, like, an adventurer here. And this is uh, an incredible view, so he's just soaking it in. But I think what we're going to do now is um, head back to the old ghost at the old Hrolden Inn, and we're going to give him his sword, and uh, that'll be probably where we call it. So we'll take it from there. All right. Um, there is actually, yeah, so Red Eagle's Ascent is here. Why don't we actually check in here and see what's going on? Because we're almost to a level up, and I think we could get one in here. And just see if there's any other treasure. But let's look out for traps and the like. Um, okay. What was that? Oh yeah, we got a force one here. Okay. Alright, very good. Okay, they are shooting arrows. Let's let Olgus uh, take the aggro. And we just gotta level up, so let's go ahead and put that point to health. And um, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and get Novice Illusion. I think we're gonna do Charming Touch and Dark Vision. And we wanna start working on this to get this up to level 35, so we can get uh, dual casting. And uh, that'll be pretty good. Alright, let's look out for these archers. Alright, there we go. There we go. Very good. Um, okay, nice. Okay. Alright, let's see. This guy is shooting his bow. Alright. Okay, let me uh, healing hands up on Olgus. There we go. We're just healing him up. Alright, Olgus, you gotta go fight him. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's so dumb. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, there's traps here too, so we gotta look out for those. There we go. Back to the darkness from whence you came. Alright, there is a trap there, so let's just look out for that. Um, god damn, Olgus, man. Not exactly the brightest of the bunch, but you are a good warrior at times. Let's uh, let's do healing hands on him. Here's your reward for a ba hard-fought battle. Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? There you go. I'll give you all my magicka. All right, let's just look out for traps. Um, I don't think there's much else in here. Um, yeah, just some goat heads on spikes. You know the usual forsworn crap. Um, Anything else? There's some mushrooms. Uh, but it looks like... Okay, there's a chest. Okay, Force Warren right here. Break her bow. There we go. There we go. Alright, we got two of them there. At least she had a gem. Some cooked horse meat. Um, I don't think we can bash open apprentice locks yet. Doesn't seem like we can. Alright. Well, we're gonna work on our alteration and get that knock spell eventually. Um, let's just take this stuff. Look at all these traps. Let's just, um... Let's just not even bother with that. Elk pelt. Okay. Also, those spiky things get, are getting me a little anxious. Alright. Um, why don't we just go out this way? Hold on, let's see. Where does this lead to? Never should have come. Okay. Alright, leads us right into a damn Forsworn camp. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's see. There's a couple of them. There's one guy up there. Let's deal with him. 
There we go. Good, we got a two-handed up there. Alright, good job, Olgus. Nice. Good job. Alright, any others? I think that was all. Take the cloak. Very good. Okay, that w I think that was the last of them for this whole Red Eagle area. Um, okay, good. Elven fire arrows. Cool. Dark trimmed cloak. Sure. I'll take it. Alright, let's see here. We gotta get back to the old Holden Inn. Um, so we're gonna get going in that direction now. And uh, just in case we get a crash. Save there. And, uh, yeah, let's just see here. We gotta go... Yeah, we're going the wrong direction. We gotta go this way. I think that's, uh, Markarth in the distance. We can actually see it from here. Yeah, and indeed it is. So you could see it nestled into the mountains there. Amidst, amidst the fog. And, uh, Jonius is just reflecting on his journey so far. And, you know, fighting these Forsworn has proven to him that even in his old age, he's still tough. Maybe not tough enough to clear out a whole camp, so let's try to steer clear of that area. Why don't we, um... Let's see here. Let's head back this way. And man, you look bad, Olgus. I'm gonna he I'm gonna heal you up again. Let's get a healing aura on you. There you go. Instantly he's cleaned up, and now he's gonna get his health back. Alright, let's get going this way. <laughs> And, uh, looks like there's something over there. Huh, should we explore it? No, let's just complete this quest. I don't want to get too distracted right now with uh, side side distractions. We gotta get back to the inn. And, um, I think we're just gonna go actually back up through this way and just make sure we don't step on the traps. And then we'll, uh, we'll just take it up when we get back to the inn. All right, let's see here. Okay, we got a big cat here. Yeah, we got a big kitty. That looks like he found somebody's campsite. Oh, okay. There we go. No problem. Took care of him. Let's see. Should we go ahead and... Uh, I guess we could try to field dress this guy. Um, let's see. Can we get a bound hunting knife? There we go. And let's try to get some ingredients off of this guy. <clears throat> All right, harvesting skill improved. Let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we got some mushrooms back in the cave there, and uh, saber cat claws, very cool. Taproot, we'll take that. Bunch of effects there, cool. Um, and it looks like the saber cat found somebody's campsite. Let's see, Talver, poor guy. Let's see. Well, silver ring. A little bit of gold. Not that much here. Doesn't look like much. Um, yeah. Looks like uh, apothecary satchel here. We could eat that. Learn that effect as well. Looks like a journal was left here. Oh, Talver. Dear sweet Talver. I can't stop thinking about him. Since that first moment I laid eyes on him in the marketplace, my heart was lost. The father would never allow me to marry a commoner, much less a poor Dunmer miner. Mara, what to do? Oh, well, this is kind of sad. I guess this guy almost made his way to Riften to find love and get married there. I wonder what's in Riften that is so important to love, but it's too bad. Um, hold on, let's see. Looks like there's some more mushrooms here. And looks like there's actually a stash here. Very nice. Very cool. Line and lure. Looks like this is a book about fishing. Interesting. I'm not sure if Jonius is much of a fisherman. I mean, he 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 probably has done a fair share of fishing in his day. He likes hunting hunting and fishing and the outdoors and his alone time as any older gentleman should be expected to but uh, let's just keep going we should be getting to the inn pretty soon alright and right here we are 
coming back to Old Trolden. So let's go deliver this sword back to the ancient ghost and bring peace to his soul. Alright, here we are back in the inn, and here's the ghost. I've been waiting for you, Jolti. I have Yalti's sword. It's been an honor to serve you, brother. Remember our lessons from the sword masters of Alcair? Let me show you a few things you may have forgotten before we leave Rolden. Alright. Well, like that, he's vanished. He's gone. And, um... We're back here in the old Holden Inn. He said he would teach us some things. I don't really feel much different. I didn't see a change in our skills, but I guess that's okay. Um, we got Olgus here by our side, and we're warming up by the fire after a long day. I think we're going to also have a swig of water. And I think we're going to call it there for now. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Skyrim Wildlander. And if you liked it, drop a like, comment. What, what are your thoughts? What would you like to see next? And, uh... Subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.